here today at the London Pain Clinic with one of the doctors, Dr Jenna, to talk about occipital neuralgia. So, Dr Jenna, can you tell me a little bit about occipital neuralgia? So, occipital neuralgia is a type of nerve pain or neuropathic pain and it affects the occipital nerves, which are the nerves essentially at the back of the head, uh, which uh, supply the back of the head and the scalp. There are two major nerves, the greater occipital nerve, which goes over the top of the head, and the lesser occipital nerve, which goes essentially around the ear. Um, patients get very nasty symptoms. They uh, describe electric shocks, um, sharp, burning, stabbing types of pain in the territory um, of those nerves, and they may also get continuous burning pain uh, in those areas. So it's a very nasty type of um, neuropathic pain or nerve pain that they're affected by. And what are the investigations? So one of the investigations we do is to do an MRI scan um, of the, the cervical spine of the neck, particularly the upper uh, part, because the occipital nerves are branches of what we call the C2 nerve root. So that's at the very high level of the spinal cord um, where the C2 nerve root, which is the big nerve that comes out from the spine, comes out and then you get a branch which ultimately becomes the occipital nerve and then ends up innovating or giving nerve supply uh, to those areas of the scalp. Uh, so we tend to do a high resolution MRI scan of the upper part of the neck, particularly looking at the C2 level, to make sure that there's no obvious uh, problem there. So disc issue, um, or inflammation or some fibrous tissue, scar tissue or anything uh, of that nature. Um, it's also uh, possible to look as far as you can with the MRI scan to the origins of the uh, occipital nerve, again, to make sure there's no inflammation or, um, or, or, or scar tissue around those. Because if there are uh, problems like that, then really that may need to be uh, addressed uh, rather than trying to just treat the nerves themselves. And what um, are the treatment options for occipital neuralgia? So like any type of nerve pain, the, the, the main way of treating it is with uh, appropriate analgesic medication. Um, if patients uh, do not improve with medication or they get significant side effects, then there are what we call minimally invasive pain management procedures. Now these are uh, pretty straightforward, uh, they're either nerve blocks or pulsed radio frequency that we use uh, to the nerve. Um, for the nerve blocks themselves, um, this is done under image guidance, so we use an ultrasound uh, scanner um, and anatomically we know where the occipital nerves are, they're at the back of the neck, um, they're um, in between the occipital uh, protruder protuberance and the mastoid process, approximately halfway between them. Um, so you can look at it anatomically, you can palpate the nerve, you can press on the nerve, reproduce the symptoms, look at it with an ultrasound scanner and essentially we clean up the area with uh, some antiseptic, a little bit of local anaesthetic in the skin and then we'll put the uh, probe down to the nerve and inject uh, some local anaesthetic, um, long acting local anaesthetic and, and steroids. Um, the next step I use first of all is uh, to use radio frequency uh, technology so in that the procedure is essentially the same but we're able to actually locate the nerves quite accurately we can get within two millimeters of the nerve um, and we put an electrical current to stimulate the nerve when you get when you stimulate the greater occipital nerve the patient will feel uh, a pulsing sensation in the territory of the nerve going over the head when you stimulate the lesser occipital nerve, it will be uh, over the ear, in the scalp area, that they will feel the pulsing sensation. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone at the London Pain Clinic. If you would like any further information about what you've seen or you'd like to make an appointment, please visit the website www.londonpainclinic.com.